to another story as Chris Giwa is the new chairman of the Nigerian Football Federation. Now looking down at reports, Chris Giwa on Monday arrived at the Secretariat of the Nigerian Football Federation with some security agents to assume office as a substantive chairman of the federation. Now Giwa also spoke with journalists on his assumption of office in line with the ruling of the Supreme Court on June 5th at the boardroom. He said that the court had nullified the parallel election held in worry by the former chairman Amadju Pinnock and upheld him as the chairman. Now he stated, quote unquote, I am here to claim my mandate as a substantive chairman elected on August 26, 2014. We waited for the other board to finish the, pre the preparations for the World Cup so that we can assume office. Now, the new federation boss has also promised to embark on reconciliation of all aggrieved members of the success of the federation. And he explained that Nigeria's sovereignty could not be threatened by any foreign interest, saying the NFF operated in tandem with the constitution. Now, according to him, he also um, claimed that we are grateful to God for making it possible for us to reconcile claim um, our mandates and we shall give Nigerians good results. And this was what came through with reports uh, that further followed reports stating that Chris Giwa was allegedly elected chairman of the NFF on August 26, 2014, but the election was not recognized by FIFA. Now, FIFA eventually supervised another election on the 30th of September in Wari Delta State after it had threatened to ban Nigeria from all of its activities. And Amadju Pinnock eventually got elected with 32 votes out of the 44 votes and stepped into office. Now, Olive, I am not surprised that this has been such a lengthy process that's taken so long because there's so much that's come out lately with regards to corruption in football. And I think there was a recent, sorry, a recent documentary that came out via BBC Africa I again. And this one was focused on football in Africa and the corruption that is imbibed in the football culture. It called out on FIFA executives that had been caught out doing certain things. And so many schemes go on because there is big money in football that I am really not surprised at this. Very true. I think it's very important that we have conversations like this. When we're talking about cleansing corruption, it's not just on the political scene. Exactly. We see that in sports. And it's not just in Nigeria, internationally as well. People have seen it as an avenue to siphon funds mm -hmm. and we know that sports is a very strong factor that would not only bring finance you know sports can be a source of tourism to nigeria because if, if for example imagine leila this is a very very wild dream but imagine that we're hosting the world cup in nigeria imagine how much that will do for our economy as nigerians Honestly. so sports can be a source of tourism and sports is also a source of unity it's one of the strongest things football you know football is one of the strongest source of sources of unity so it's important that the, the, there's some sort of house cleaning done being here. Absolutely. And even years after, it does seem like justice has come for him. Now, this announcement was made by um, the special assistant to, on media to the Minister of Youth and Sports, Solomon Dalong, on Monday. And the announcement was that the Ministry of Youth and Sports on Monday had directed the Nigerian Football Federation to comply with the judgment of the Supreme Court, which set aside the election into the Executive Committee of the Federation, held on September 30th, 2014. So four years after, mm. we're seeing the courts and uh, justice, it seems, taking its course. So we're bringing you the details of this story, if there are further changes in this regard, of course, we definitely will be bringing it to you here on Hello Nigeria. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos, when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.